Hey guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem Bricks Game. You and your friend decide to play a game using a stack consisting of n bricks. In this game, you can alternatively remove 1, 2, or 3 bricks from the top, and the numbers etched on the removed bricks are added to your score. You have to play so that you obtain the maximum possible score. It is uh, given that your friend will also play optimally and you make the first move. As an example, bricks are numbered from uh, 1 to 5. You can uh, remove either 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Uh, they are just considering the total if you remove all the bricks. For your friend, your moves would leave the options 1, 2, 3 elements. That will be like 9, leaving 5 for you. So total is 6. And if you take the first uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, your friend will be like higher. Even if you take the first 3, uh, 9 will be there. In this case, uh, it will be never be optimal for your friend to take fewer than the maximum available number of elements. Your maximum possible score is 6. That is uh, getting all the 3 elements uh, uh, from the start. And uh, let's see the constraints. So here we have like five test cases and 10 to the power of five, uh, that is the maximum n can go. So we have to solve the problem in like a linear uh, time or even like n log, uh, log n time. But we are going to solve it in uh, linear time, which is a big O of n. And uh, these are the test cases. So we have like two test cases, 999, one, one, and zero. If you take the first three, uh, you will be uh, getting like 1001, we will be like uh, returning here and uh, here you will just uh, take the 0 and your friend will take all the 3 elements and you again will take 999, so the total will be like 999. But while solving the problem we are going to uh, start from the uh, reverse, so I am going to reverse the array. Uh, let's also dive into the solution and we could uh, trace the problem after that. So first we are going to reverse the array reverse the array, array equals array of minus 1. So this will uh, reverse your array. And after that we have to do some initialization. So uh, n equals len of array and uh, dp variable we usually uh, initialize. So dp 0 multiplies by n. So I'm just initializing with the uh, length of the array. And we will also have like total equals 0 which will calculate the uh, sum. Now let's dive into the main logic. For i in range of range of n total plus equals array of i. So we are just uh, adding the array element to the total until we reach 3. If i less than uh, 3, we will just uh, add that into that uh, dp of i dp of i equals total so this total will contain like a prefix sum of the last uh, three elements and uh, if it is like uh, going three or more than that in the else part else part dp of i equals max of total minus dp of i minus 1 comma total minus dp of i minus 2 total minus dp of i minus 3. So we are considering like if we take like uh, only one value or uh, two values or three values. So this will uh, give you some uh, total and the and whichever is uh, giving the maximum we will just store it in dp of i finally we will print sorry we will just return dp of minus 1 which is the last element and we will also print dp just to see uh, how it is changing uh, at the end let's run the code so this is the whole logic. Let's see whether it is working fine. So it is working fine. And uh, as you can able to see, um, maybe this one is like a easy uh, test case for us. 
So for the first case, if we reverse it, uh, we have like 0, 1, 2 and if it goes 3, it will go to the else part and we will be like uh, computing the maximum. So this total of dp of i minus 1 will be computing like 0, 3 minus 0 and uh, 3 minus 1, 3 minus 2. So we will be getting 3 and that will be updated here and after that we will be getting a total of we will be getting a total of 1,102 1,102 right so from 1,102 we will be like uh, negating 1 so 1,101 is there and 1,000 is there and 999 uh, is there so the maximum is 1,001 uh, so we will be uh, storing that here finally we will be returning that result so this is for the first test case for the second one at the start itself we have like 999 and we will be just to keep on adding this until we reach that uh, third index so we'll be have 999,001 and after that we are getting uh, 1 here so the total here would be like 1002 and again we will be just uh, negating with the previous values so 1000 2 minus 999 which is 3 1002 minus uh, 1000 will be 2 and this will be like 1 the maximum is 3 here and after that we will be uh, having a maximum of uh, 1002 as a total and uh, maybe I'll also print the total print total so it will be easy for us to calculate okay so we already solved the first case and this is the second case total is 999 and uh, in this after this case only we are uh, considering for this index and we already solved it right so 1002 uh, minus 999 is 3 which is the maximum and again we are having the 1002 because of this uh, 0 and if you consider 1000 it will be 2 and this will be 1 and with 3 you will be getting 999 which is the maximum and we will be getting the result. So this is how the uh, dp variable is using to compute the previous values and uh, we are using the sub problem result to find the uh, uh, final value. Let's comment it out and submit the code. Uh, it has solved like all the test cases. Uh, that's pretty much it guys. If you have any other logic apart from this, please leave a comment below. Other than that, uh, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you guys in the next video.